I told you not to play with that fucking thing. Why are you just standing there? Bill's catatonic people. What if he's like one of those things that pops back up? Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> okay, well, Bill's out of it. Don't know what's going on there. So I guess I should just tell you, I'm Bronco Juggalo. The silent thing here is Bill. I don't know why he's like that. I don't know what he's doing the box again. He keeps on wanting to play with this stupid thing. Big Doogie Movie! Hi! What the fuck? How did you, when did you get here? Uh, like an hour ago. Oh! I was out there, like, banging on the door forever. And I, I walk that. in and you're holding this. What the fuck? I like the toy. Quit playing with this thing. I told you, bad shit's gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, I had a bad experience with it. Some, yeah, some crazy guy found some stuff he shouldn't have owned. Uh, yeah. What stuff is that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, are you ready to do this? Of course, of course. You ready? You sure? You sure you're ready to, to review Hellseeker directed by Rick Boda? Yes. Okay, all right. Aren't you going to introduce yourself? I already did. Okay. So you don't remember me pushing you like that? No, why would you do that? Because it was funny. You kept, like, rocking back and forth. Okay, anyhow... Uh, if he's already introduced himself and Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to roll with this. We're here to review Hellraiser. Which one's this one? Hellseeker? Something like that? Yeah. From 2002. We're getting up there to where I don't remember all the names of the sequels. Oh, well. <laughs> you know? And obviously, other people aren't watching either because... The last few reviews have don't have very many, uh, you know, so, or views. Hmm. But you know that's probably my fault. I put up a couple of reviews last, or not reviews. I put up a couple of videos last night that I didn't mean to put up till tonight. Oh, they, it was an accident, and I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just leave them there. But anyways, so yes, go and watch all our other Hellraiser reviews, fuckers. Yeah, come on, these aren't horrible films here, people. Yeah, and the reviews aren't bad either. No. Anyways, let's get off our own little horse here. So, this film marks the return of Ashley Lawrence. Hell yeah. He does return as Kirstie. Kirstie, Kirstie, something like that. It's a weird name. It's one of those names that ends with a Y, but if it's spelled with an I, the chick's a big old freak. Yeah, you know, pretty much. And it stars Dean Winters as her husband, Trevor Gooden. Or Gooden. better known as Mayhem. Avoid Mayhem, like the me. The Allstate guy. Wait, is it Allstate or State Farm? Allstate. Allstate, that's right. It's Allstate. After a very bad car accident, Trevor wakes up in the hospital to find his wife missing and filled with confusion. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. Turns out he is now the suspect in a murder trial. Of his wife. Filled with hallucinations, he cannot distinguish between reality and fantasy. And guess what? Neither can fucking we. No. No, not at all. Unlike the last movie where we think they were in the real world the whole time and only his dreams are the fantasy, and then we find out later that it's all fantasy, this time we're literally thrown directly into the fantasy. And we're told right at the beginning of the movie that the guy can't figure out which is which and what's not. What's real, what's fake. So, neither can we. And honestly, it makes for one hell of a messy, confusing fucking film. It does. Now, something interesting about this film is Clive Barker said that aside from the first two, this is his favorite sequel. He I, loves this I, movie. I, I don't see how. I don't get it myself either. I don't either. get it. Personally, this one's pretty close to the bottom of the barrel, if not at the bottom of the barrel, guys, for me. I'm just saying... I was not a big fan of this one I, because 
All right, well, we'll get into we'll get into our individual pros and cons here in a minute. But basically, my yeah. thoughts are my overall thoughts is the last twenty minutes of the movie, which I do really enjoy. Don't make up for me going throughout the whole film, going, "What the fuck is going on here? What the hell is happening? What what?" That yes, they yeah. do wrap it up and they do kind of tell you what's going on at the end, sorta. Of. But that doesn't make up for me. Being frustrated for over an hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, the two don't equal one another. I agree. My initial thoughts on this film is... This is a train wreck. Mm -hmm. This is just a fucking train wreck of a film. Where... Yeah, you're just... What the fuck's going on? And in this one, I think Pinhead gets probably the least amount of screen time... Out of any of them. Our Cenobites, Pinhead... They are literally shoehorned in there. In fact, we really don't get a lot of other Cenobites. There are no others. Yeah, why don't they? Yeah, we really don't get it. We get Pinhead a couple times. And that's it. And he's kind of literally, it feels like he was shoehorned into this movie. It really does. You know, this is the one, this is one I really think they mean when they said that they weren't made for this, you know, for, to be Hellraiser films. By the way, what yeah. do y'all think of my awesome fucking hoodie? I had to say something. I love it. Go check out Buckshot and Boondocks. You will not be sorry if you're into rap. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. The only reason this movie was even possible was due to the success on straight to video of Hellraiser Inferno. And that was not a bad It deal. did well enough on straight to video that they could do another sequel. Going forward, I don't know what their excuses were, but hey. We'll find out. Hopefully, maybe never. So, let's start with cons. Uh, like I said, my biggest con... I didn't know what the fuck was going on through the movie, and the last yes. 20 minutes of movie I did enjoy did not be were not good enough to make me forget about my frustration. Yes, I agree. This is a mess. This is just a convoluted mess. Like I said before, just a train wreck. But it's not one of those enjoyable train wrecks of a film, because there are train wrecks of a film that they're that so bad, they're, they're fun. This one was just frustrating. Exactly. Frustrating film. Ugh. All right, I guess my first con for this film is our lack of Cenobites in this film. All you have is Pinhead showing up a couple of times. That's it. There are no other Cenobites, no old ones, no new ones. Nothing. This is supposed to be Hellraiser. Where the fuck are our Cenobites? Right. Where are they? And it, it, the cube really doesn't even show up a lot. Yeah, it shows up as a gift, and I don't think anybody actually opens it in the movie, do they? I like, don't remember at least it not ever until, opening. like, the end. Yeah. Like, they just show it, and they show in, like, a backflash him opening so, it. So how can this That's be it. a Hellraiser film? Like I said, how? I really feel like they just kind of shoehorn that in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I only have two cons, guys. Uh, one, as I said, is I spend most of the movie going, what the fuck is happening? Uh, confusion, just mass confusion. That's my biggest one. Yeah. The other one, as he said, is the lack of Cenobites. We have no Cenobites in this movie, aside from Pinhead a couple times. And even then, he's very sparingly used. And the lines aren't terrific. He has, I think, one really good line, I thought. I thought he had About one too. pleasure and pain. And that was pretty much it for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was all for my cons, though. I mean, that, that that first con for me sums it up. There really wasn't anything else to, like, you know, pinpoint on. It's a well-shot film. It looks good. It, you know, there's, but that was it for me. I just spent the whole time going, what the fuck is going on? That it took everything else out of the equation for me, both good and bad. I couldn't concentrate on anything good because I couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on. Yeah. Okay. I got one more. I got one more con on this, too. And it's all about it being a Hellraiser film. Uh, Is this a fucking porno or a fucking Hellraiser movie? (laughs) Uh, I I mean, it it felt like a cheap porno at times. The Hellraiser films are kind of known for a little bit more... No, this one really did. Like S&M style sex and stuff. But this one was like... Yeah, yeah, they really were getting down with, like, the filming and the porn and the... Yeah, it was close. It was pretty Come close on. to being a cheap porn. 
It really was. Huh. Ugh. That's the last con I have for this film. Have you been having problems with your puzzle cube? Are you experiencing demonic phenomenon? Do you get visits from people like this? Or hillbilly abominations like this? Or confused superhero sidekicks? Yes, I said sidekick. Don't be like this poor fucker. Are you having problems with your cube? Then get Allstate and protect yourself from mayhem like this. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Oh, not the big ball. I just the bad broke my fucking back. Who's taking me there? Wow, this did not do what I thought it was going to do. Let's just shut you on. What the fuck just happened? Sponsorship. Oh. You know, it's, you know, sponsorship, product placement. I see. Can't seem to avoid it. By the way, let me take a drink of my refreshing Mountain Dew Cola. Would you like a Mountain Dew Cola, sir? It's not cola. Shut up. I'm supposed to say it. That's what they told me to say. Cola is cola. They told me to say it. Just shut up and just, go with it. Just fucking We're going to it. piss off the mouse. Uh, wait. Disney owns everything. Don't you know that? Uh, they own that? They do now. Okay, don't 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 kill us, Mr. Mouse. We <laughs> love Mountain Dew Cola. Yes, love it, Cola. Thank you, Mr. Mickey. Yes. And thank you, Pepsi. Yes. And Mountain Dew. Yes. Refreshing. Don't kill us. <laughs> See, look, enjoying it so much. Now that was fun and funny. Okay, seriously though. <laughs> That was funny. Pro time. Yes. Uh, like I said, it's been my whole fucking time going, what the fuck? But the acting was at least good. Yeah, it was fun. I don't know what the fuck they were trying to get across, but it was good. Yeah, and uh, I'll go off that too. Yeah, I did like the acting in this film. Uh, I enjoyed the guy because we were watching. Hey, isn't that the mayhem guy? Yeah. They're like, oh, okay. And get all state and keep yourself from mayhem like, like me. Like yeah. me. All I could think of was that maybe they should do a fucking, like, Halloween commercial for Hellraiser. Yeah. That'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. But anyways, uh, segueing off this, my first real big pro for this one is that we do have Ashley Lawrence back. I enjoy her as an actress. I enjoyed her in the Hellraiser franchise. Very nice to have her back. Yeah. Love her back. Um, that is actually my next pro has to do with her character. I do like at the end how they basically make her the bad guy. Yes, this she is, is a pro of mine as well. She, yes, the, her, her husband was a douchebag who was trying to have her killed, but she goes out of her way to make a deal with the devil to it's like get revenge on everybody. Man. And, you know, I mean, basically she almost becomes as bad as Julia, if you ask me. I um, mean, that's like... She, nah, because... Cause... He actually deserves yeah, it. Yeah, but she just didn't give a shit. She was like, okay, I know all about this kind of shit. I can get these Cenobites to come out and fuck your world up. So yep. that's what she does, and damn. I mean, she's fucking cutthroat. Fucking cold-hearted bitch. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I like that. I was like, good, go for you. Go, go. Hell you go, yeah. girl. You know. And hell, I'll go off this, too. A pro of mine is the ending of this film. I do like the end of this film, especially when she's given the puzzle box again. Here, little gift to remember him by. And she's just got, ah, 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 thanks. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I love the end. Mm -hmm. I love that end to this film. Right. Because it kind of like, I, I, what's what am I looking for here? It kind of makes things kind of go full circle. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of goes full circle. She gets the box. Makes back. you wonder what she's going to do with it next. Yeah, there you go. That's all I have to say for the pros, guys. Honestly, I only got the two. Bringing yeah. Kirsty, in my opinion, full circle, but making her basically the bad guy. And the acting was good. It doesn't make up for, unfortunately, the frustration I no. felt throughout most of this movie and just going, what the fuck is going on? No. So, because no. every time we think we're in a real situation, then we think we're in fantasy, we're not. It's just fucked up. It's so, a mess. That's all I got to say, guys. Honestly, this is a movie that if you don't watch it and you just skip on for the others, I, well, there's a couple in this franchise I haven't seen yet. 
So we'll get to those, but this is one in the franchise. In my opinion, you can skip. Yeah, you can skip it. But I got one more pro for this film. We do have good practical effects in blood and gore when you get it in this film. It's not bad. No. It's not bad. It's it not the okay. greatest, but they it's still not horrible. They leaned a little heavy on the CGI stuff for me. But, yeah, but uh, I hate CGI. You know, I don't mind it, like I said a million times, I don't mind it if it's done right and in the right places. Yeah. But this movie, yeah. Anyways, yeah. so that's pretty much it. I think we're going to give this one a hard go fuck itself. Yeah. yeah. Skip it. But before we end this uh, little video, I do have something for you. Huh? Oh, God. What is he doing? Oh, congratulations, brother. Oh, my God. What, what, what is this here? Oh, no way. You, you finally made them. Look at this. They finally made... Yeah, I put them up on the show the, the other day a little oh. bit. Oh, my God. Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. Is this your first shirt? Uh, Well, it's my first channel shirt. It's the second shirt I've done because we also did the Super Slash Brothers shirts. Oh, uh, that is DJ's cool. Oh. There we go, guys. These are fucking... Uh, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. Thought you'd like that. Well, that one's yours. Bob. Oh, yours, brother. damn. Hell yeah. Thanks, man. This yeah. is... Hell yeah, bro. Dude, you did a great job. I oh, swear, thanks. you did an amazing job on this. Appreciate it. Yeah. The spreadshirt was a big help. Hell so. yeah. All right, guys. This is Bronco Joe saying peace. And Bill saying good night. Talking about mob shit. Got a couple hundred grand, I ain't much. Mob shit. One phone call, you can get touched. Mob shit. Give me good time, hit the do list. Mob shit. Good fellas always got a full clip. Mob shit. Keep the family.